Like this video within five seconds or this thing is gonna jump scare you for the rest of your life randomly every single day. I would not risk it. Hit up my boy Gamer the Plug to buy or sell a stacked NBA 2K20 account. Links are in the description. Tell them that Badge Plug sent you for a discount. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and today a lot has been happening throughout the NBA 2K20 community. So today we've got a lot of news. We're gonna get straight into the video. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet and let's do this. Are you tired of spending hundreds of dollars on professional jerseys? Well, go to Jersey gods.com and you can get those same exact high quality replica jerseys for a fraction of the price use my code plug at checkout they have current nba jerseys throwback jerseys throwback shorts current shorts and even nfl jerseys links are in the description 2k tweeted out on their twitter recently big drop today on christmas from our guy at jersey lorenzo fire emoji cop your fear of god in the neighborhood now for a limited time and the guy they added said ronnie I just saw the hoodie was 30k VC. Dot dot dot. My son can't afford this. Can we adjust the price to something more reasonable? So the literal designer for whatever that clothing line was, Fear of God, that was added into 2K responded to that and was like, yo, this costs too much VC. Is there anything we can do about it? Because that is an insane price for a piece of clothing in NBA 2K20. So I want you guys to comment down below, yes, if BC prices for clothes are too high this year, or no, if they are a reasonable price, because 30,000 BC for one jacket is, in my opinion, pretty overpriced. I don't know, you guys can give your opinion on that down below, but I thought it was hilarious that the guy that they tagged in that responded to it and was like, yo, too expensive, what's going on can we lower the prices so that dude is most likely never going to get another sponsorship with 2k or at least not get added in the tweet because wow that is some savagery that this man just did i don't know man fear of god is a very i guess high quality designer brand but poor boy sin said even the homie said bc price is too much and he created the merch lol yeah discounts coming soon so i'm not sure if 2k put a discount on that clothing or all the clothings after that but i really don't think that they did but still that's pretty funny man i've never ever seen that in my life like 2k has been doing all these collaborations this year for the clothing and stuff and they're i don't know taking a bunch of brand deals to get that bag and i guess the other companies are benefiting from their clothes being out there but ceo gucci mario said 2k finally gave me a max build let's go and he said oh my god they gave me maxed out badges on a 60 overall. I can win bootcamp LMFAO. And as you see, Merry Christmas to you, 2K, free build, and 300,000 BC. And I was like, no way. They gave him a free maxed out badge build, right? But on the right side, you see that he has 15 potential badges earned out of the 15 badges that he can get. So yeah, they gave him a build with every single badge maxed out and 2k has been giving a bunch of creators their free about it on twitter some people not a lot of people but in my opinion they're creators for the game you know give them the build so that they can stay on the game and make more videos so that you know you can enjoy having the 2k community around more instead of the game just dying off because that's obviously what 2k is trying to do they're trying to put out more content for the creators so that the game doesn't die off because you know people's numbers are going down stuff like that they don't have enough content to post because the game's a little bland but like i said grinding df got a build lsk got a build i'm not sure who else got a build i feel like anyone who is uh logoed on the game or verified whatever you want to call it is able to get a build i'm not sure if it's like some type of time frame because mario got his like a week or two before lsk grinding got his like a week ago so I'm not sure what their like decision process is on that, but I think that it's not a problem at all. And I think that it's actually something that 2K is doing good for once in a while because, you know, taking care of the creators, that's something that every single company should do. Like Fortnite really takes care of their creators and that's where 2K really needs to strive for. Like obviously 2K is not on Fortnite's level, but we all know that 2K could do much better with taking care of the community and the creators within it. So Pretty Boy Fredo, posted a video on his YouTube channel recently talking about the 2K community, talking about, you know, a bunch of, you know, things, the personal things he was talking about. And in one of the segments, he was talking about the 2K community. He was being honest with his viewers and saying that the reason why he left the 2K community is that every single day he was waking up 
to these hate comments and the hate comments were getting to him it was starting to make him a toxic person and he basically said that being in the 2k community being around all the toxicity turns you into a toxic person now he had a very good point that i really liked in his video where he was talking about once he had his daughter ava you know people were really getting super toxic with their things like talking about they got jasmine pregnant and every single day he was waking up to an exposed video and fake things like i did this to fredo stuff that didn't even happen and that's true man the 2k community can really come up with some very toxic stuff people you know they just be toxic for no reason people be toxic to try and get replies from people and it's just don't be toxic because we don't want to lose another fredo fredo was very big for the community like there's some very big people in the community right now that could leave in the future because of the toxicity so one thing you should do man to try to strive for in 2020 is to just not be as toxic as you were before if you're one of those people that's in the community if you don't like someone's videos or something just move on you don't have to comment on it you don't have to drop hate for no reason just say something nice or don't say anything at all but duke dennis responded and said cap just because the community is toxic does not mean that it brings it out of you now i sort of am on both sides of the argument both sides of the fence because i believe very strongly that you are a product of your environment like the things that you're around the people that you're around their moods their attitude the way they act that can really have a big effect on you especially as someone as big as pretty boy fredo who had millions of subscribers was waking up to comments and stuff all the time hate comments toxic comments twitter replies stuff like that so i do believe that it can affect you and get to you but at the same time i also believe that it, you have to be very weak-minded to let it all change you to let the environment around you completely change you now i'm not saying that's what happened to fredo it didn't completely change him but like he was saying in his video it was starting to change him and make him toxic and he felt like he was being more toxic and he didn't want his daughter to go back and look at his legacy on his career and be like wow that's what my dad did but at the same time i really don't think that it can get to you as much when you have a stronger mindset and perspective on what you need to do like especially if you're a content creator you got to understand that when you're that big it just comes with that you know that's the community he chose the 2k community might be more toxic than other communities but no matter where you are you have to understand that being that successful there's always going to be toxic people that want to bring you down just for literally absolutely no reason just because you're successful so iggy mo said depending on who it is the people you hang around and surround yourself will influence you and duke said no they don't only weak-minded individuals like i said get influenced by the people around them to do things that they don't normally do and flaco said well you gotta think Fredo was at 2 mil and at the top of the community, so just imagine waking up every day hearing an exposed video or your name in everyone's mouth all day. And Duke said, that's what comes with being the best. Come on now. LeBron doesn't become toxic when people talk about him. And that's true. Like, LeBron is the, you know, amazing athlete. He's right there at the very top of the greatest NBA players of all time in the generation of social media. There is so many LeBron haters, and he's not out here being super toxic. That's just what comes with being at the top of what you're doing people don't like to see you winning and you know i do feel like it can get to you mentally and stuff but at the same time it's all about just blocking it out understanding why people are upset they're usually not even upset about you they don't not like you they just don't like your success and all that type of stuff that comes with it annoying said disagree definitely brings it out of me per se another streamer calls you out on stream and their fans won't stop until they get a response out of you is pretty toxic so let me know in the comment section down below if what i was just speaking was facts drop a like on this video but let me know in the comment section down below how you feel does being around this toxic community make you into a toxic person or is it just the mindset of the person but we have more to talk about so we have to get into it in my last news video we talked about a very good badge glitch that was out but it was only for ps4 this new badge glitch can be on both systems it's a very well explained tutorial and it was one of the only glitches i've seen this year that has no dislikes on it so you know that it is real and very legit and very well explained so it is how to get rookie difficulty how to get the game speed up how to get double points how to get my player nation games forever and i'll show you guys the channel right here it is vi vapors 
24. You guys can look up his channel name and find the video if you want to. Remember, if you're doing a badge glitch, you might be able to get banned. Probably not, but you know how 2K is. So guys, I really highly recommend to go check that out if you are wanting to get badges on one of your new builds if you're a christmas new where you just made a new build for christmas or whatever it is man it is a very good tutorial that teaches you how to do literally everything no stamina to all that type of stuff anyway guys that is it for the video so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new drop a like if you have not yet turn on post notifications and select all because if you don't youtube will not notify you when i upload because it's broken it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in and i'm out peace